So I'm doing a play field swap on my cyclone. Uh, this is the same cyclone that I showed in my uh, flipper video. And in fact, it was this flipper that, that, I, uh, that I worked on in that video. Um, I thought I was being smart by putting these quick disconnects on all the solenoids. It makes them a lot easier to um, take off and, and work on, especially when I was replacing all the stuff in my play field. Um, and it was pretty clever uh, until I reversed these leads when I reconnected them. So I wired the flipper backwards. And uh, I hit the button and uh, the flipper didn't fire and I saw like a little flash in the, in the uh, back box because I had blown a fuse. Uh, it's uh, the right flipper, I think it's F5 on the uh, flipper driver board on uh, System 11. Um, so I replaced the fuse, uh, two and a half uh, amp slow blow and turned the machine back on and, and hoped it would work. Uh, hit the button again and it didn't fire. Um, so uh, I think I know what the problem is. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can show you here. Um, if you remember from my flipper video, um, the power comes in uh, on this lead, so my diode bands are uh, facing this way and this way. Uh, so the banded side is here and here. So the power comes in here, and um, on the initial uh, strong stroke, uh, the power goes through the high current part of the coil and then uh, exits through this pin, which goes to the end of stroke switch, which comes back up to here, which is ground. Um, so that's the high current side. And once, once the high current side pulls the plunger in, it opens the end of stroke switch. So the power has to come in here. Then it tries to go out this pin, but there's no path to ground because that switch is open. So it has to go through the rest of the coil uh, following the low current side and exit here. So what you would normally see is uh, if you measure from uh, here where the power comes in um, to here, you would see you know something like 4 ohms. That's the high current side. Um, and then if you measure from, uh, if you open the end of stroke switch and measure from here to, to here, uh, you're going to see like 150 ohms. Let's, let's see. Uh, if I look on this coil, which is good, measuring from the banded side, uh, where the power comes in, so here, we'll just put it on, on the exit pin here. Um, putting it in uh, ohms. So the high current side, so the power comes in here, um, it goes through the high current part of the coil, across the end of stroke, stroke switch, uh, and then comes out here. It's 4.8 ohms. If I open the end of stroke switch, now we're going to see the low current side, 159 ohms. So from 4.5 to 159. That's the, uh, the strong side of the coil and the weaker hold side. Now let's see what we get on this coil, which I fried. So measuring from the banded side of the diode, to the non-banded side. If we look at uh, the low current side, 147, so pretty close to what the other one had. But if we look at the high current side, 0.8 ohms. So I went from like 4 to 0.8. So presumably, when I, when I reversed these, these power leads, um, I fried something. Uh, I haven't thought about it a lot, but either, you know, I fried either the diode, um, because the current could go straight through the diode, um, or I melted some of the windings together in the coil. But regardless, um, my high current side of the coil is, is fried. So I'm going to replace 
um, this coil, which will also replace the diodes. And hopefully, um, once I also replace F5 on the uh, um, auxiliary power board, that will fix my mistake. So, this is a good example of when you're wiring flippers, make sure that you don't wire them backwards. You want, you want power coming in on the uh, banded side of the diode. So if you look at the diodes, there's a little white band on one side of them. Your input power goes on the banded most sides. So you'll see that uh, both the bands, both the white bands, are pointing in the same direction. Your input power goes at the end of that, so the banded most, and your uh, ground goes to the other side, to the side that's not banded. If you reverse them, you're going to blow something up, like I did. So take a look at my um, flipper repair video, and I'll show you the, the schematic, um, and you can learn what's going on inside of this, and get an idea of what happens when you flip those wires and blow stuff up, like I did. Be careful. So I pulled the bad coil out of the machine uh, to see what exactly happened to it when I wired it backwards. Uh, you can see I've uh, detached um, one lead from each of the uh, diodes on the coil. Let's take a look at those diodes uh, on the multimeter and see what the measurements on them look, look like. I'll put my uh, meter in diode mode. Uh, you can also use resistance, but this meter has a, a dedicated diode mode that I'm going to use. Um, and uh, let's take a look at um, so the the input power comes in here uh, between here and here is the uh, high current side and of, of the of the winding, and from here to here is the low current. So let's take a look at the uh, the diode on the low current side. Um, so meter in diode mode, red lead on the non-banded side, and the black band on or the uh, black lead on the banded side. And the meter is showing a, a voltage drop of about half a volt. That's typical. Uh, it's just for fun, let's reverse BIOS this. Uh, put the red lead on the banded side and the black lead on the non-banded side. And we got nothing. We're over limit. Um, so no voltage is going across uh, the diode in this direction. Uh, that's how the diode should behave. So now let's take a look at the, uh, the high current side. Uh, red lead on non-banded side, black lead on the banded side, so we're, we'll forward bias this diode. And that's not good. Um, so this diode is shorted. Uh, we've got continuity across the leads. Uh, just for fun, let's uh, reverse bias this. So electricity should only be able to flow in one direction across this diode. Should not be able to flow in this direction, just like the, uh, the other diode showed over limit in this case. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, continuity. So this diode is completely shorted. So when I uh, when I put the flipper voltage across it, uh, it just blew. Um, and that's good to know because uh, I bet uh, the only problem with this coil is that diode right there. Um, so I, I don't know what these cost, what, uh, you know, 10, 20 bucks maybe. Um, but this diode is uh, just a few cents. So 
uh, I could salvage this part and, and just replace the diode uh, across this winding. Good stuff.